Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Range Time back with another episode of the uh, ballistic gel block test with the 8.6 blackout caliber. Now, the test coming up here will be with the uh, the Maker's uh, 350 grain Rex bullet. This is an all copper bullet. Uh, unlike the uh, the grill arms that I, I did the other video on that opens up into four pedals, uh, the Rex bullet opens up into three pedals. So you can take a, a look at this and. Uh, nice big bullet here. This is 8.6 blackout, which is 8.6 millimeter or 338 uh, caliber 0.338 diameter bullet. So uh, let's, uh, let's get turned around here and look at the loading and then we'll get moved right on into the, uh, to the range test. All right, guys. So here's a quick look at this loading. Uh, of course, Hodgson X110 powder for this load. Uh, my staple CCI large rifle primer, uh, the maker, 350 grain rec solid copper bullet and of course the actual loaded round here so you can see how much of this bullet is actually down in the case here that's a, a pretty substantial amount now this is a, a 6.5 Creedmoor case that I had converted uh, and, and resized up to 8.6 blackout and trimmed so here's a just a good look at these bullets all the way around and Looking down the heart of the beast there. Um, so like I said, these are uh, pieces of brass that I have converted. And okay, so we start out with a 6.5 Creedmoor case here that we lubricate, run through the sizing die, and expand the neck up on it, and then push the shoulder back, uh, and then trim the length. And that's that's the process. It's almost identical to 300 Blackout. Now, not every case uh, does well with this level of expansion. Uh, some of these actually blow out. And if there's any little deformities in that neck, uh, those will be magnified when you uh, when you stretch them out there, and uh, we give uh, some not necessarily perfect results. So, all in all, I think I did about 65 or 70 cases here, and I had four cases that I culled out after everything was said and done, uh, and then uh, load data. So right now, everybody is kind of struggling to find load data for 8.6. Uh, this data right here actually comes off Maker's website. If you go into the listing for this particular bullet uh, and come down and hit the specifications tab, uh, it's got the low data here. You can see it highlighted. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to find. I mean, I, I went back several times uh, and was going through this to find it because I had been told that it was there. And even knowing it took me a, a few trips to, to come up with it here. but. Uh, so this is the load data that I use on this loading. And uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get turned around here and go out to the range and see what this thing does. So we're gonna move on next to the, uh, the Maker's 350 grain Rex bullet. This is a solid copper bullet as well. Uh, the 342 grain Gorilla was also loaded in Gorilla uh, factory 8.6 blackout brass. Whereas this uh, this maker's Rex bullet is actually loaded into some 6.5 Creedmoor uh, converted brass that, that I converted this week as well. So, yeah, a little bit different here. We'll, uh, we'll see how these cycle as well. So I was getting some pretty low hits, and I was actually aiming close to the top of the block. So I'm going to aim a little bit higher this time, even. All right, looks like we got a good catch. Yeah. Uh, good news is our velocity is at a thousand and six foot per second. So this is a sub loading for this bullet, and uh, we got a pretty long wound track down there. Maybe I was. Uh, mistaken to pull that plate off the back stop of the gel block. So let's go take a look. Now well, guys, we got the catch. So again, similar, this is our wound track right here. And right there's our bullet. Yardstick up here. 
getting really similar characteristics from the from the grill ammunition round. Uh, looks like we've got maybe opened up just a little bit quicker. We're fully open by two inches where we're just starting to open at two inches with the grill ammunition. Uh, we got a good spiral rotation again. Looks like our spiral probably stops a little bit sooner, uh, closer to that 12 and a half inches. And then we carry right on over. Uh, now we are a little bit heavier, but we're running quite a bit slower, but we ended up with about 22 inches of penetration on this. So, uh, Get the camera down here where the everything looks correct on it. And look at that bullet there. That is a big, beautiful thing. So the grill ammunition has four pedals and the Rex ammunition has three pedals. So let me take a look at that. We were starting to curve out there just a little bit, but we did stay in the block. All right, guys, let me see if I can get one more in this block. It looks like it's all about to fall apart. All right, guys, we made quite the mess down there. Uh, the particle board shelving board just wasn't strong enough to uh, to hold up here. So I'm probably going to have to go get like a, a, a two by 10 sheeting board or something. And I, I was going after the white color so that we could get a good contrast with these bullets in, when they're in the gel block. So looks like I'm going to have to actually get a, a, a big heavy duty board or maybe even a couple of pieces of, uh, of laminated plywood and paint them white to start putting my gel blocks on. All right. Makers, 350 grain Rex bullets, solid copper, uh, 8.6 blackout. And like I said, this will be the fourth round I've shot out of this. And, uh, We are having a gas issue, which I will work on and resolve at a later date. All right, so here we go. Let's go see if we got the catch. All right, guys, bad news, no catch. So here's our entry. We have no expansion, none at all, straight pass through. And looks like I should have had the blocks up there. Uh, I'll put the blocks up and we'll try another one. So we've got velocity and a catch that time. Nine hundred and twelve. Let's put one more of these in the block. Try to get another velocity. That one skimmed right across the top. Let's go check them out. I did get a velocity though of 805. So each one of these is getting a little bit slower. 82 standard deviation, that's horrible. All right, guys, here's the wound track from uh, from our third shot. No expansion. We do have rotation. And we get some expansion only when we get down here 32 inches in and it hits the plate. 
Uh, the fourth shot skimmed off the top right here and bounced off the plate. And actually, it should be laying here somewhere. I saw that come back and drop right back here at the end of the table. We'll see if we can find it. All right, guys, I am gonna put one more in here. So far, I've not been too impressed with this uh, Maker's Rex Bullet. Uh, the velocities are ever decreasing, and I only have one of these that have expanded out of the three that I've actually put in the gel block. Uh, the other two I had zero expansion on, and uh, the third one I actually skimmed over the top of the gel block. So uh, let, me, let me see if I can get this one in the gel block, and we'll get one more look at it and one more velocity. And we'll see what we do. Uh, 872. So yet again, our, our velocity is decreasing with these rounds. We went from 1,006 to 912 to 805 and back up, I'm sorry, back up to 872. Let's go take a look at this one. I think we did get another catch this time. All right, guys, wound track is this little one right here on top. We come right on through all the way down and hit the plate. All right, again, we had zero expansion in this one. Um, through 32 inches until it hit the steel plate over here. So, all right, guys, that's uh, very disappointing out of the, the Maker's Rex bullets. All right, guys, so here's the final results of, uh, of the four shots that I took. Uh, you know, the one shot actually skimmed out the top and, and was lost, but uh, uh, the one round that opened up um, actually did pretty well. This is uh, about an inch and a quarter uh, of expansion from the base uh, diameter of 338. And uh, the other two, uh, I did not have any expansion. They went all the way through and hit the uh, the steel plates at the at the back end of the 32 inches of gel block. Uh, I will note these were running right at 900 foot per second. So we were well under sub velocity. Uh, I will be reloading uh, another test batch of these. Um, of course, I started at the, at the load that was given on the, uh, the maker's website. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work up from there. I, I was quite a bit under the velocity that they were given for the same inch, the same barrel length. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll up this probably a full grain and take a few more of these back to the range. And, uh, and I'll be testing those in gel block as well. So there will be an upcoming video. All right, guys. So there it is. Uh, Maker's uh, 350 grain Rex bullet. Uh, this one performed very well. Uh, had a nice expansion on this. Uh, it's about an inch and a quarter diameter. Uh, there's pictures coming up in the slideshow uh, with this on the yardstick. Uh, uh, there's also uh, the chronograph data showing this running right at 900 foot per second. And I'm really hoping that that, that 160 some foot per second uh, velocity being below uh, the max sub velocity uh, is uh, was the factor in the other two rounds that we caught not opening up and, uh, you know, penetrating 32 inches of gel block. So uh, I will be loading these up. I'll probably add a grain of powder, a full grain uh, to that loading. Uh, I may do a couple with a full grain and a couple with a half grain and see where that puts me. But, uh, you know, I do want to get these pushed up closer to 1150-ish, somewhere in that neighborhood would be ideal. Uh, running these out of the 16 inch, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's going to be. If I ever do build a, a shorter barrel version of this, uh, I, at least I'll know that the, the loads I have will be running at sub velocity. So I won't have to worry about that again, but, uh, all right, guys, Matt, Kentucky range time, uh, keep an eye out for, uh, the next loading and test on this. And, uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll get that out here in a few weeks. I'll also be doing a second loading on the, uh, the Gorilla Punisher 342 grain series. Uh, that one came in at about 1117 foot per second. So I was over on one loading under on the other one. Uh, and of course these were both coming, starting off with the factory, factory load data. So you got to start somewhere. And, uh, and we'll work our way back in to getting these at the velocities that we want. So if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.